doing a table report of our data, we also have the option to view stats and charts of the data we've collected. When I do this, the first thing we'll ask is for viewing any individual instrument or form in our project. So I'll choose the top one for which we have some data imported into our project. And we can go down and see general information such as the number and percent that have responded in di different ways to our questions, as well as basic bar charts. Uh, we can also change it to a pie chart if we so chose, and we could download that image. Something to note about these images is they do tend to be somewhat low resolution. So if you're looking to obtain images for a poster, it probably makes sense to make the image in a uh, data analysis tool of your choosing. But if you're just trying to get a quick sense of how many people are answering your questions in a given way, this can be a great resource to be aware of. Similarly, we do have the option of seeing which rows are missing for a given option. And then if we were to click, we could go directly to that uh, record. Oh, it's saying erase the value. Uh, I'm going to say cancel for now. Not that it matters too much since this is just a demo, but under normal circumstances, it would go directly to a given row. We could also see for numeric values, it's providing our information as a scatter plot. And again, just a way we can get a quick sense of our information, including how many are missing for any given question in our project. In the next video, we're going to talk about the export features of REDCap.